Hello students, brain pop time again. Doing something a little different this week. We're gonna be moving away from waves and light and sound and now we're working on thermal energy, temperature, heat, phase change. So we're gonna be doing um, a brain pop. You're gonna be doing a brain pop on temperature. So you're gonna to go to you, the website, the brain pop um, website, use the username and password that is in the agenda. And then I will show you what you're supposed to do when you get there. Okay, now that we're at the Brain Pop website, the only thing you have to do here is just type in the word temp and click on temperature. And then over here at temperature, this is the one that we're going to use. So the first thing that you should do for this is you should watch the movie. The movie is only a couple minutes long, right? Just a couple minutes. Uh, the next thing that you can do is you can go to the related reading. So this will give you some more information about uh, temperature. Uh, you should definitely read the in-depth section. It's not very long at all. It's just a page that's over here. Um, the arts and entertainment is good as well. The did you know is, is good. And the graph stats and numbers is also good. You're welcome to do the comic. Um, it's, um, it's optional, right? That would be one that you wouldn't have to read. If we click back on to temperature, it brings us back to this brain pop. Uh, there's a worksheet that you should also fill out about different temperature. Is this temperature greater than, less than, or equal? And then there is a question regarding what happens with these two balloons when you put them in the refrigerator for an hour. There's a space down here for you to write your answer. The other thing that you can do is you can take the quiz when you're done with this to see if you've actually done it correctly. And when you do the quiz, you can do the review part of it, or you can do the graded. It doesn't matter. If you do the review one, it gives you a little bit more options of seeing what the answers are as you're progressing through the quiz. And then lastly, the part that you're going to turn in is this graphic organizer. So if we click on the graphic organizer, it's very much like the other one that you've done, where we've got our, our temperature here, and then we've got these other topics that are related to temperature, and then you can fill in your answers as you're working through this brain pot. So that's it. There you go. Uh, very simple to do. And let me know if you have any questions.